You found it, episode one of the Lane Acclaim restoration series where we left off on the other channel. This is not a traditional furniture restoration video. In fact, you may find that this is the worst final reveal that you've ever seen. Whenever I think of the mid-century modern Lane Acclaim dovetail furniture from the 1950s and 1960s, I think of the iconic coffee tables, side tables, end tables, and step tables, but it's my understanding that there were 48 items altogether that were part of the Lane Acclaim catalog. So throughout this series, I'll show several other Lane Acclaim furniture pieces, including the drum table, cocktail tables, extended coffee tables, snack tables, guitar pick tables, a cedar chest, and even a Lane Acclaim chest of drawers. You may be wondering why I decided to start this series with episode number two on my main channel, Mad City Modern, and I'm assuming most of you are joining me from that channel. I want to say welcome to Mad City Restorations, and I hope you enjoy this first episode. I decided to start with episode number two to jump right into actually refinishing and restoring a couple of these Lane Acclaim pieces before I discuss the history in episode number one. I'll also discuss the repairs that are necessary on some of this furniture, and my top five finish choices for this Lane Acclaim furniture. What I won't discuss on this channel is what finishes you must use for your own furniture. That's completely up to you, and if for some reason you don't like the finishes that I choose for my tables, that's okay. My intention is to provide as much information as possible as I work my way through each one of these pieces, and hopefully this will help you decide what finishes to consider when you're refinishing your own furniture. I'll explain my plans for this video in a moment. In March 1912, a man named John Lane purchased a box plant in Alta Vista, Virginia. His son, Ed Lane, was 21 at the time and was encouraged by his father to try his hand at starting a chess factory in the newly acquired plant. They incorporated the little company as the Standard Red Cedar Chess Company. And from Cedar Chess, Lane expanded to occasional tables in 1951 case goods in 1956, and accent tables in 1965. The most popular style of furniture from Lane Furniture Company was the Lane Acclaim series, introduced in 1959. Designed by Andre Buss, this iconic dovetail design incorporated ash or fruit wood with walnut inlay, and this design is easily recognizable and still popular to this day. We can't see it well on this painted table yet, but Lane commonly stamped their furniture with important information, including patent number, style number, which is 900-18 for the snack table, and the serial number, which when read backwards is the date the table was manufactured. I found this table locally listed for $15. It had only been listed for 33 minutes, and I offered to pay more for this table. The seller told me if I paid $25 for the table, that I could have it. At that price, this table was a steal. However, it had been painted, and most people aren't willing to go through all the effort to refinish a piece like this appropriately. I'll explain in a moment what my plans are for this Lane Acclaim snack table, and I think it will surprise you. But first, I want to include a longer section on this video that I usually would have to cut short on my main channel.
I suppose it's time to share my plans for this Lane Acclaim snack table, and many of you will probably think I'm crazy for doing this, but at the moment I have over 15 Lane Acclaim furniture pieces to restore or refinish, and so there's only one way to get better at a skill, and that's to continue practicing. Because there's such a stark contrast between the ash and the walnut inlay on the surface of this table, I'm going to apply five different finishes to the surface of this table. I'm also going to practice repairing the cigarette burns in the walnut veneer, and I'll also mix water stains to conceal the burns left behind by the previous owner from sanding through the walnut veneer. I decided not to explain the paint removal process since that is the majority of what I do on my other channel, Mad City Modern. As many of you know, you can watch a hundred different videos on YouTube regarding furniture repairs, and you could, in your mind, be an expert, but until you have the opportunity to apply those skills, it really doesn't mean much at all. So this was a good opportunity for me to try veneer repair. I'm going to try and lift the fibers or open the pores by spraying water and applying heat with an iron. This is a good method to use when trying to remove dents from furniture as well. Unfortunately, after trying these repair and paint removal methods, you can still see the paint in the wood fibers on this table, and the cigarette burn, I believe, is irreversible damage on this walnut veneer. So in another video, I'll be cutting out that piece of veneer completely and replacing it with an entirely new piece. As a disclaimer, this table may be wearing a small band-aid in the final reveal. It wouldn't usually be necessary to repair a lane and clean piece by clearing out the gaps between the ash or fruit wood and the walnut veneer. However, I am working on removing all the paint from these areas. You may be asking why I didn't fill these holes with a walnut wood filler or a wood putty, and the short answer is I did. If this had been a much larger, more valuable Lane Acclaim table, this is exactly how I would have left this. And the best way to apply this is just to wet it down with water so that it's easier to mold. I would imagine that most of the viewer support on this new Mad City Restorations channel is coming from my other channel, Mad City Modern. So I want to take more time and say thank you to all of those of you who have shown so much support just sending mail, watching the videos, commenting on the videos, leaving thumbs up, sending me items in the mail, helping out with the Amazon wish list for items in my shop, and other ways I may not have mentioned. I really appreciate all of the help and the support, and I could not do this without you. I'm going to use stain powder to mix custom water-based stain colors to conceal what I can only imagine are burns in the veneer from a power sander. This is why I would strongly recommend sanding furniture with thin veneer by hand. For this project, I didn't get a perfect match for the stain, and that's okay. I was just using this opportunity to learn, and I was pleased with the entire process. One thing to keep in mind is that walnut veneer and other veneers can naturally have different wood tones in the wood grain. All you can do with major damage such as a cigarette burn is just to continue practicing with different wood fillers and different stain powders. The same goes for matching a custom stain color to conceal the veneer burns. It's important to use water-based stains for these repairs so that you can spray the entire section with water. This will give you an idea of what the final finishes will look like. If you don't have the right wood putty for these projects, you could also use sawdust collected from the sanding process. I'll mix this with a little wood glue and use this specifically to fill some of the gaps on the edges of the table where I remove the paint. One of the biggest debates regarding the Lane Acclaim furniture line is how they should be refinished. In this episode, I'm going to apply five different finishes to the same tabletop. I'm going to apply all five finishes and let you decide what you like the best. I'm not going to suggest that one is better than the other. I'll give my opinion on all the finishes as I work through them. However, if you are the rightful owner of that piece of furniture, it's up to you what finish you want on it. Some like the stark contrast between the light dovetail inlay and the walnut inlay, 
while others like more of a factory finish or a traditional finish, which would be a spray-on lacquer. I have the first section taped off, and for this section, I'm going to apply the spray-on lacquer. I'm going to be spraying the lacquer with an HVLP, or high volume, low pressure spray gun. All the products and tools that I'm using in this video will be linked in the video description. The first HVLP spray gun that I ever purchased for furniture refinishing, I found at Harbor Freight for $12.99. The first coat I'm spraying on is Easy Vinyl Sealer from Sherwin-Williams. The vinyl sealer acts as a protective layer to prevent any blotching when I spray on the lacquer. So I'll go over this layer with fine steel wool to provide a nice smooth surface for the lacquer to adhere to. To mix the lacquer, I'll use lacquer thinner with pre-catalyzed lacquer, and I'll add a penetrating dye stain in medium walnut. I will be spraying more lay to claim pieces for this restoration series, so I won't cover every detail regarding the spraying process in just this one video. It can be intimidating to spray for the first time, especially after several hours of prep work, but I assure you it's not as difficult as it appears. The second finish of five finishes that I'll apply is General Finishes Gel Stain in Candlelight. I use this one often on Lane Acclaim pieces and I've seen this one used often by well-respected furniture refinishers. The great part about this application is you just wipe it on and wipe it off with a shop rag. The nice part about this finish is it's a little darker and I can use this to conceal Lane Acclaim pieces that have significant damage, such as the cigarette burn. The third finish is a hard wax oil, Rubio Monocoat. I'll mix one part accelerator to three parts Rubio Monocoat. If you want the most natural looking finish for your furniture, then Rubio Monocoat would be your best choice. And yes, Odie's Oil does also fit in this category. This product is expensive, but a little product goes a long way. I'm applying this with the card scraper they provided and this is probably one of the easiest finishes I've ever applied. You just work in the product, let it sit for a few minutes and wipe off the excess. The fourth finish should look familiar and that's General Finishes Armor Seal. This is an oil based pre thinned wipe on poly. This should look familiar. This is the one I just used for episode number two of the Lane Acclaim restoration series. You can apply this with a shop towel or even an old t-shirt. This may take a couple of coats, but you want to make sure you keep the coats nice and thin. The final finish is Minwax Polycrylic, and this is a water-based finish that should provide a crystal clear finish. I don't intend to use this on any Lane Acclaim pieces, however, this should be a nice comparison when applied next to the oil-based wipe-on poly. Once the candlelight gel stain has dried, I will go back and apply a few coats of the oil-based wipe-on poly, General Finishes Armor Seal. This table is going to be so beautiful. To touch up the feet on this table, I'll be using two different paints. I won't discuss these in much detail. My strong recommendation is Gloss Black, Protective Oil-Based Enamel by Rust-Oleum. Before I show the final reveal for this project, I need your feedback in the comments, letting me know which finish you think is the best for these tables. I spent a considerable amount of time on this project, and I'll be using it as a reference for every Lane Acclaim furniture restoration moving forward. This YouTube video is not sponsored, and the snack table video will not earn revenue on the YouTube channel. However, this is hopefully an educational video that you'll use as a reference when deciding which finish is best for your future projects. If you feel that I've earned your subscription to this new channel, Mad City Restorations, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the thumbs up for this video, and hitting the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I intentionally used wider tape for this project to show how the table looked before any finishes were applied. Most of the Lane Acclaim restoration videos will be on my main channel, Mad City Modern, 
And there you have it, the most pathetic furniture reveal of all time. The Lane Acclaim snack table with five different finishes. Keep in mind that these are rough finishes and still show a considerable amount of paint in the wood grain. Number one is the closest to a factory finish with the HVLP sprayer and tinted lacquer. Number two is candlelight gel stain by General Finishes with a few minor repairs necessary. That will be for another video. This is more of what candlelight would look like on a finished piece. Number three is a more natural look with Rubio Monocoat hard wax oil. Number four is General Finishes Armor Seal. This is a satin oil-based wipe on poly and that would look similar to these tables completely finished. And number five would be the crystal clear water-based polycrylic. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know in the comments. Goodbye for now.